Do you want to be a vet in the future? Are you curious about what vet science is like in the University of Queensland? If so, this video is right for you. To start with, let me first introduce myself. I'm Gladys and I'm a first year student in the UQ studying vet science. Now I'll be talking about what that student is like in the University of Queensland as well as what you should expect in here. Also, the whole life in UQ. Usually, I'll be having class five days per week. Yes, five days. So, and it also depends on if you have any prac during the day. So, if it's your turn, you're free to have prac, then basically you will have no day off. But if not, time for a little relaxation. And yeah. Usually every day I'll try to spend some time studying, so what I'm doing is usually tidying up lecture notes, re-watching some of the recordings, and yeah, just do some recaps on what you learn during the day. It really helps, especially during your exam period, and it really boosts your confidence during your SWAT fact week, which is the week, the holiday, before your finals. You'll feel so much more confident since you'll feel like you memorize something from class instead of having your memory all blank, like your mind blank and everything. So yeah, that's the studying part of my daily schedule. And about work-life balance. So basically because I don't have a car, so I'm stuck in Gettin. It's not really a bad thing because <laughs> there are also a lot of hall activities or like six which is the special interest group activities that you could join from so yeah they usually have things every week for you to do and you could also go hang out with your friends in boss club which is squad favorite play for a movie night so yeah and you can also join some voluntary works just sign in for for, for instance, for me, it's like in CSD, which I'll work once every fortnight to do some maybe preparing food for the cats and dogs and just play with them, chill with them. Um, yeah, that's really good. Mm, what else? And sometimes during weekdays or weekends, I'll go out to town to Brisbane and yeah, or just have a little fun on campus and do some studying. That's basically what I usually do during the week. About what to expect. So for this course, there will be four courses per semester. So we usually call it by course code, for instance, 1060, 1025, etc. So for the course that I've taken this semester would be something about animal management, animal biology, vet professionals and biochemistry so during the courses you can do a lot of different lab works observational pracs or like being in the animal paddock to take a look at the surrounding like their husbandry methods and maybe even in clinical study center and guess what you also get to do your first dissection about dolphin cats so Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting, like you really get to know what you're learning and you can really get a lot of hands-on experiences which I really like and there will be more during next semester so I'm really excited about that. People always ask if it's really hard studying fit science and I would say yes. It's hard, even in the first semester for me. I feel like for the first semester, you're like uh, getting into adapting a new study environment and like the uni style of learning. Well, like for animal science subjects, it's like so different from like what you learn in high school. So yeah, I find it a while to adapt everything. And also sometimes you just don't know like which part is the focus of the exam. So basically you don't know what to study like that's my biggest struggle but i did look for some learning learning advisor and they did like ask me to read past papers and yeah that really helps and studying in a group like having a small study group would also be a good method that's what i also did and yeah if you did all things like that you'll easily get a pass but if you really aim higher 
you really need to like study every day and try to really digest every every stuff and store them in your long-term memory bank so that you can really use it flexibly um yeah that's my tips and that's what you have to expect as a fed student all right and let me first briefly talk to you about the four different homes that we have we got pit we got shelton we got riddell and we got sign so basically choose pit because pit is the best you got the most drawings and you also got the best team yeah we won basically a lot of either the first or the second in all the rest balls. so choose pit and for pit what's special is that you got a nice room let me show you my room See, you got a lot of shells which other holes don't have. Okay, so like for the four holes, each hole's got three blocks A, B, C. And for each block, you got upstairs and downstairs. So now I'm currently living, living upstairs, and before it's downstairs, but upstairs better because you got more privacy. And for hall life, what can I talk about? Ah. Let me talk about the activities that we have. So when I first came here, I got an orientation week, which is organized by Rest Club. And it's really fun and exhausting. You almost got like all activities for the whole day and you could get to say hello to a bunch of people. I feel like I'm super extrovert during that week, like so talking to almost everyone I met and my group of friends, the team squat and I just love it here and every after school starts you tend to go out like every Wednesday as a rest break day and a club night yeah about the club it's called the lost club and you got activity every Wednesday night with different themes so sometimes they got pajamas theme sometimes they got like dress as yourself or dress as a movie character guide and you got every different themes yeah it's fun and for rest boards you also got like different things to do like sometimes it's netball as usual sometimes you got touch sometimes you got catch the flag or what else basketball water polo basically everything that you can think of that's a group sports and yeah so wednesday is your big day especially for me as a fat student because i usually go to class from eight to nine till five so afterwards it's rest board and then it's club night just a fruitful day of wednesday and yeah washing machine and drying machine are all covered in your bill so you don't have to pay for it also for electricity about the quality of the food that's a thing that I search in Reddit and all the stuff and they can't answer me so I'm gonna answer it here. Personally, I love the food there because you got like, it's a buffet setting and you can get different foods that you want so yeah, catering all different needs but if you're a vegetarian, you choose like the self-catered one because there isn't really many vegetarian options that you could choose from. Mm -hmm. But once in a fortnight, we will have like a theme dinner. So we got like Indian dinner, Korean dinner, Latin American dinner. But yeah, the food will be different from usual. But in terms of if it's really good, mm -mm, average. I wouldn't say it's bad, but look forward to thoughts. That's a big event, which everyone dressed semi-formally. And you could get really, really good food. Don't put too much expectation and it will do good to you. 